Let's take you out to Milwaukee, getting an update after multiple people were shot after a Juneteenth celebration. Let's listen in here to this update from police who just stepped up to the podium. Are we good? All right. On Monday, June 19th, 2023, after a day of a Juneteenth celebration where thousands were in our community gathered peacefully at approximately 421 p.m., Milwaukee Police Department officers responded to a shooting incident on the 2900 block of North Martin Luther King Drive. MPD's preliminary investigation revealed that the shooting may have stemmed from a fight between multiple young females on MLK Drive. MPD has confirmed a total of six shooting victims at this time. Four females, two males, ranging in age from 14 to 19 years of age. There are no fatalities at this time. MPD's preliminary investigation suggests that a 17-year-old male victim was also a shooter. However, we're seeking additional unknown suspects at this time. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Market Police Department at 414-935-7360 or to remain anonymous, contact Crime Stoppers at 414-224-TIPS. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the MPD family in regards to the work that we did with our community today. Most specifically, I'd like to point out Captain Sharonda Grant here, who worked with the Office of Violence Prevention and many community partners in helping to stem down what could have been really a serious, serious day with more violence in our community after this event. I'd like to make this point and make it very clear. Milwaukee, what's going on with our children? Parents, guardians, elders, we need to engage and ensure that this violence that our children are bringing to these streets cease. No handgun, no weapon of destruction should be in the hands of our young ones. It's important that all of us do something. Eight years I've been part of the Juneteenth celebration as a commander, as a Juneteenth uh, uh, organizer. This has never happened before. And I've been in the city all my life. This has never happened before. This is a serious situation that we all need to take hold of. What's going on in your homes? What's going on in your community? This is not a Milwaukee Police Department thing, not the mayor's thing, not just only community organizers. It's a us thing. So please, please get involved. Please ensure that we are making sure that our children are not having hands these weapons of destruction out here because it's unacceptable on all type of levels. I'm so appreciative of all the support from our community partners, the support and the hard work of the men and women of the Market Police Department, but we need you, all of you, to be part of this effort to make our city safer. And I'd like to bring the mayor to the podium. Thank you, Chief. You know, today was a glorious day. Um, we celebrated Juneteenth, and I think it's important to point out the fact that this incident did not happen during Juneteenth. That's why you don't see the organizers of the Juneteenth celebration standing with us here right now. This happened after Juneteenth had concluded. But still, it is totally, it is totally, totally unacceptable for the incident that happened right in this neighborhood, right in this community with the shooting that we saw earlier today where so many young people were hurt. Look, today, there were families out here. There were kids out here. There were babies out here. And it does not, it does not sit well with me. It does not sit well with the people who live in this neighborhood. It does not sit well with the men and women of the Milwaukee Police Department. It does not sit well with all of our community partners on the ground for folks to think that it is okay to take a gun out in a densely populated area and fire shots off. Like, if you are an adult or a young person who's got your hands on a gun and you are ill-tempered, right? Don't come to stuff like this. Don't come. Get the help that you need. And we are more than willing to help you to make the connections that you need to get the help that you need. Um, but if you're going to fire a weapon off, if you are intent on causing death or harm or destruction, then do not come because you do not have the right. You don't have the right to steal the joy that this community felt today. You don't have the right to endanger babies in this community. You don't have the right to put the men and the women of this department 
and our uh, partners in the Office of Violence Prevention in harm's way because you want to go out there and act stupid with a gun. And that's what it is. It is stupidity. Arguments should not lead to guns being fired off, period, period. You know, it used to be a, a time where if folks had an argument, you just walk away or you conclude the argument and leave it at that. Or maybe worse, you get into a fist fight. You don't pull out a gun and try to end somebody's life over something as simple and as meaningless as a petty disagreement, as an argument. We see enough of that, too much of that, and it needs to stop. It needs to stop. So I echo the comments that Chief Norman just said. We need preachers, we need teachers, we need mentors, we need friends, but we need parents also to step up. There's no reason that a young person should have their hand on a gun of any kind. No reason whatsoever. It is completely and totally unacceptable. And they put themselves at risk, they put their neighbors at risk, they put all of our community at risk, and they put these men and women in this department at risk too. We have to go out there and solve those incidents to make sure that people don't further get hurt in this neighborhood or in this city uh, overall. So um, again, all of us have work to do. Every single one of us in the elected official capacity, in the law enforcement capacity, in violence prevention and education in so many other places. Um, but we need the community to speak up and to be engaged in our efforts to make this a safer city for everybody as well. Thank you. Chief, could you just clarify, so you said that the gunman was also shot. Do you believe there's just the one gunman, so you believe he shot himself somehow? So this is still a fluid investigation. We're aware that there is one identified that we're working out uh, to uh, get the fuller story about it. But again, we are asking for help. We do see that there is a lot of chatter within our social media, and we're appreciative of the assistance from our community, and we need that help to be able to identify all who are involved. Again, just as the mayor said, this is unacceptable on so many different levels. But let's run this story right. It happened at 4.21 p.m., not at 12 o'clock, not at 7 o'clock. So let's paint this picture right in regards to what happened after Juneteenth was done. But also, the concern was going on within our youthful community. We have a variety of ages here, a variety of ages who should not have been harmed, should not be involved in this type of behavior. And we need to continue to put all our efforts to ensure that we uh, address this type of uh, concern, this urgency now for this concern. Chief, is that 17 year old who you believe was a shooter in police custody? Do you all have them? Yes. Is he one of the six that you've identified as injured in the shooting? Yes. System? And could you clarify the ages? Did you say four or 14? Oh, <laughs> now you gotta have to look. 14 and 19. 14 and 19, I'm sorry. That's all right. Do you know what the fight was over? No, I do not, but I know this much. It was not worth what happened. Mm -hmm. I know that there was no need for the males to get involved with firearms. So no matter what was going on for that little argument, firearm violence is not the way to solve that. Absolutely not. Chief, you mentioned this earlier, but what's the reaction having this come at the tail end of the otherwise peaceful and positive day? Well, it's very positive. I will hope this will make the community lean into this. You cannot allow these type of situations to say, well, I'm not just going to do anything. That's an unacceptable alternative. I'm so proud to have the mayor here and have the men and women in Milwaukee Police Department. We work day and day in and day out in regards to the protection and make sure that we are leaning into this particular concern, but we can't do it alone. These men and women behind me work 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no holidays off. But the community also needs to understand that these kids are having these weapons inside their home. These kids are hiding them around the house. What's going on? How are we putting forth the effort to ensure that they're not going to harm someone tomorrow, the next day, or themselves? This is a story that plays out too often and is getting really old. Really old. Do we know how many officers responded to the incident today? No, I do not know, but we had, we had a nice staff in here. Do you know the severity of any of these injuries? No, not at this time. Take one more question. Do you know if any of them are? Anything at all, any of them life-threatening? I mean, you said they all survived. Yes, they're not life-threatening to this. I mean, again, this is a fluid situation. Uh, I know that it's called non-fatal uh, uh, shots, where basically it is not life-threatening. But there's a variety of different uh, injuries in uh, all, all six different ones there. Question for both of you guys. What, what do you want people, to, the public, to 
remember about today's Juneteenth? I mean, I know you guys were in the parade, going to the festivities. What do you want the, the memory to be of this day? Uh, I want for folks to know that Juneteenth was a safe event. It was, it, it, it's, a, it's an event that has been growing. The number of vendors has been skyrocketing over the years. The, 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 the number of people, of participants in the parade and the festivities otherwise has just been growing and growing over the years. I mean, look, one person pulled out a gun and caused problems today after the festivities were over. Other than that, we had thousands and thousands and thousands of people here celebrating and bringing themselves together and having a sense of community. That's a powerful thing. That's the true story about what this day is. And on the tail end, when somebody causes death, harm, destruction, when they shoot somebody, when they hurt somebody, I have said this constantly, and I mean it. And I know the chief means this too. When somebody does cause those instances of death, harm, or destruction, then they should be held to account. Absolutely. Period. Period. And we're saying that, and we will do that. But we also need folks on the other side of these, of these cameras to do the same thing. If you've got somebody in your family or your friend or is, or, or is otherwise in your influence, convince them to not do things like this. Talk to them, have conversations with them. And if they do, then you gotta hold them to account. You got to because if you don't, then they're just gonna get up and go to somebody else's neighborhood and hurt somebody else's family. And that's not right. It is not right. And all of us have it within ourselves and all of our capacities, whether you're an elected official, whether you're in law enforcement, whether you're in violence prevention, whether you're a parent, all of us have it within us to, to, to lean into this, to step in and do something positive to change the narrative. Thank you. Chief, there, there is video, there's video of girls fighting and there's video of girls fighting and a man pulling out a gun. Have you seen that video? Is that part of the investigation? No, I have not seen the video. Okay, that update there from Milwaukee police also hearing from the mayor after six teenagers were shot after this Juneteenth celebration. You heard them say there this was a peaceful event that thousands had come out for and six teens were shot in this four teenage girls, two boys and one of the victims, a 17 year old uh, was also a shooter in this incident. According to police, they said that there was some sort of fight that ensued here and a shooting occurred, but they said regardless of what this fight was, it should not have led to a shooting at what was supposed to be a enjoyable community event that so many people had gathered for.